There you go, two strip kits in action. So one on the TV, another one on the actual TV unit. And as you can see, multicolor on one strip kit. So really impressive. <laughs> Hi there, today we're unboxing an LED strip light. So this particular one is by a company called Govi. Details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. So let's take a quick look around the packaging. So it comes nicely packaged with a picture of the LED strip light. So if I come in close, you can see Govi Build Smart Things. So it's a smart LED strip light. Come here, thanks for choosing Govi. Come around here, a bit more Govi barcode there some details on the product and if I come around the back some details about it so the model here size is five meters and it's the UK plug on this okay so let's open it up and see what you get in the packaging okay so I've laid out all the items you get in the packaging so let me quickly go through them one by one so initially you've got a user manual and that's multi-language so if I open that up some basic details about the product. Okay, next you've got key points of installation, some details to highlight when you're installing this, just basic things what you can stick on and the fact you should clean the surface before you stick this product on. Okay, next you've got a card and it has details of support and social media contacts and the fact it comes with a 12 month warranty. Okay, then you've got some clips with 3M sticky pad on there, build seems good, nice and strong. And there for a situation where you're going around a corner and you just want to hold it into place. So just to give you an idea like that. So you can bring it around, hold it into place, that holds the other end in, it just stops it from dropping. So you've got five of those clips. Next you've got an alcohol prep pad. So that's just to clean the surface just before you stick these products on. Okay, next you've got a power adapter, a DC connector on there, Build quality feels good on there. I've measured the cable already, so you get 1.3 meters on there. And if I come around here just to show the output, output is 12 volts, 2000 milliamps, okay? Okay, next we've got the actual LED strip light. So it comes with a controller on there, three buttons on the controller, so a power button on off, you've got a color selection there, and a mode button here, so you can go to music sync mode. And if I come around here, you've got a small hole there. That's where it can pick up the music. So you don't have to rely on your phone or another device to actually sync to the music. And on the back, you've got a 3M pad so you can just stick it on the wall. Okay, short amount of cable on there. And that's where your DC connector plugs in to power it. And then you've got a bit more cable there. And then it goes straight into the actual LED strip. Cable quality does feel good, nice and strong. Slight bend on there, as you see. Now, just to show the actual quality of the build on this, seems pretty good. And I'll come along and they've got their, the cut points. Where there's a line normally, that's where you can sort of cut it, just there. Now, one thing to note, I've pulled off one of these completely just to have a look. There's no connection point on this, so you can't chain multiple devices together. So if you want more, you've got to buy other, other strip lights, yeah? And obviously it doesn't disconnect from here as well. So I've seen quite a few LED strip lights and where you power it, you can disconnect it as well. So you can disconnect the whole strip light. So this comes as a complete package and it's not flexible enough to add on other things. You have to buy multiple of these. So there you go. Build quality feels good. And what they recommend is don't leave it on the reel when you turn it on. Obviously unwind it completely. So let me unwind it and we'll just plug it in, see what it initially looks like. Okay, so I've unwound the actual bundle of LED strip light and just to show, this is the end of it. So you can cut them at the point there. So if you just work along, as I already said, and you find those cut points, just cut straight through there if it's too long. And just a note, there's no connection point there, like I've already said. Okay, so let's plug it in and see what happens. So the DC connector here, just plug it in like so. And 
then I've got to plug up the side, so let me plug that in. There you go. Simple as that to use, obviously standalone, and there you go, you can see the multiple colors appearing straight away. Not seen that before. So normally it's just a single color and you can just change it from one color to the next. You can't have multiples. So this is really impressive, the fact you can have multiple colors on this. Now the actual controller, if I press the top button, turns off. Press it again, turns on. Shifts mode, so it can go to a single color. If I go through that, Okay, and test, test, music sync, how cool is that? And it's not just one color going through it, obviously it's moving along. Test, one, two, three, press it again. There's different music sync modes it seems, and you can see even different colors appearing on it, really cool. Let's turn the lights off so you can see it completely in the dark. Test one, two, three. There you go. How cool is that? My God. Different colors. Very impressed. If I press that. Test one, two, three. So, very impressive for an LED strip light. Obviously, multicolor and music sync on that. Very impressive. So, works simply standalone. You can go for a static color if you want. Go for music sync, obviously with multicolor as well. So you don't have to run this with smart tech, you know, like connecting to your phone and then connecting via an app. So you can run it standalone. Okay, so let's make a start at setting up this LED strip light with the actual app. So I'm at my Android phone here. Let's go to the Play Store and we want to search for Goovy Home. So if I click on that, that's the app you want to install. So let me hit install and let's give it a moment. Okay, so now the app's installed. Let's click open. Okay, so it's started up now. So this is what you're initially presented with. So let's click plus here and we want to check the model we've got. So if I look on the back here, I can see it's the H6163, and that's just the back here, and H6163, which is that one. And next, we need to register an account. So let me sign up in the background, off camera. Okay, so I've registered an account, so let me click Login. And there you go, it's logged in now. And let me select the actual dream color again. So it needs access to the location, services on the device and Bluetooth turned on. So we turn those on. Okay, let's give it a moment. There it is. So if I just click away and click on that, it's trying to connect to it now. Okay, that's the device name. So if I click done, Next, it needs the Wi-Fi password for my network here. So let me type that in off camera. Okay, so I've typed in my Wi-Fi password. Let me click done. Okay, simple as that. It's connected to Wi-Fi now. So got all the options available here. So if I start at the top, if I click on power, turns off. Press it again, turns on. You can set timers on this. So I can set it for a timer, turn on and off. Okay, brightness, control the brightness. So you see it's a bit more granular on this and it's clearer, clearer to sort of use really. DIY mode, so you can create your own setups. So if I just create one called test, for example, and if I click add a color, so let's pick multiple colors. So this is where it comes into its element really. So you just carry on adding colors. Go for that one and click apply. Okay, if I do subsection, click apply. There you go. See multi colors appearing on there. Pretty cool. And circulation, and if I take the speed up, there you go. 
really cool okay and it just slowly moves along as you can see okay let's go back and then you've got different modes so you've got the music mode test one two three so you can flip between that and color so you can have a static color if you wanted just move that along pick another one green blue yellow yep and then you've got scenes you've got predefined scenes so morning sunset okay it says sunset the lights will mimic the change in color and brightness of the sunset reach the minimum brightness to in 10 minutes and finally turn off the device it's pretty cool okay movie mode dating mode romantic blinking candlelight and snowflake that's pretty cool okay so cancel on that let's go out and that's what you're initially presented with and you can quickly turn it on and off from here as well without going into the actual item so you can have multiples here so obviously you're just seeing one as i've only got one let's go back into it okay connection via bluetooth you got down there and if i go to the top you've got settings so this is where you can actually change the name wi-fi settings you can change that if you wanted and that's it simple as that to set up and very quick as well as you've seen no messing around it wasn't complex or it didn't struggle in any way okay so i've set up my google home mini and my amazon echo dot and i'm going to show how to configure the govi LED light strip with these devices. So very straightforward. So I'm at my Android phone. I've got the Amazon Alexa app here. If I start that up, we click here in the corner, go to skills and games, and let's search for Govi. And that's the skill you want. So Govi Home. So if I click on that, enable to use, I'll just click that. And next it's going to ask for some account details so these are the details i used for their app let's give it a second so there you go so let me in, enter in my details off camera okay so i've entered in my details let me click login and there you go govi home has been successfully linked okay so if i click the x here and discover devices so let's give it a moment okay so let's click done now and we go to lights and there it is it's just this one here so if i click on that it's got the actual model of the device and let's try adjusting the brightness yeah there you go that's working well set the color so let's pick a single color flip that over to different one slight delay but seems to be working well there you go color representation is pretty good as well not sure how well the actual recording showing that but it is good okay if we come out of that obviously we can rename it as well so let's give it a name okay let's call it cinema And now if I unmute my Echo Dot, I can say, turn off cinema. Okay. By the Turn on cinema. Okay. Change cinema color to red. Okay. Change cinema color to blue. Okay. Change cinema brightness to 50%. Okay. Change cinema brightness to 100%. Okay. There you go. Simple as that to set up with the Amazon Alexa. Okay, so next let me show how to set up this LED light strip on the Google Home. So I've got the Home app here on my device. So if I click there, and we click in the corner there, we go to settings, 
assistant and home control. Okay, next we click on the plus and we search for Govi. And there you go, it's there, Govi Home. We just want to link that in now. So, same as before, it's asking for my account credentials. So let me enter them in off camera. Okay, so I've entered in my credentials. So let me click login. Okay, it's signing in now and it's linking. There you go, it's added in. So, can assign it to a room if we wanted to. We're not gonna, let's click done. Okay, gives you an idea of what you can say. Click understood. Okay, and let's come out for a moment. Go to home and come out. Let's go back in. It's always good to do a bit of a refresh once it gets added in. So if I scroll down now, it's just there. So let's click on that. And if I click off, turns off, click on, turns on, change the brightness. Give it a moment, yep, yeah, done that. Color wise, let's pick another color, yep. Yeah. There you go, not too bad. And if I come out and I click off there, it's a little bit of a shortcut, turn on again. And let's rename this one as well. So if I click in the corner, click on name, again, I'll call it cinema. Okay, and let's go back. And now if I unmute my Google Home. The microphone Home, is back on. I can say, turn off cinema. Sure, turning off the cinema. Turn on cinema. Okay, turning on the cinema. Change cinema color to blue. Sure, changing the cinema to blue. Change cinema to green. All right, changing the cinema to green. There you go. Simple as that to set up and configure with the Google Home. Okay, so next I'm going to show remote connectivity to this device. So if I drop this down, turn off location, turn off Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. So we've only got a data connection at the moment. Let's give it a moment to connect. Come out, go back in. Okay, and let's try going into it now. And there you go, it's connected. So 4G in the corner, as you can see, no Wi-Fi connectivity, no Bluetooth either. There you go, you can remotely connect to it as well. How cool is that? Okay, and again, change the colors. Excellent. Okay, so if you look down here, it says, now device is in Wi-Fi connected mode, you would use more functions after connecting to device via Bluetooth. Okay, it's interesting to know. So you'll have more functionality via Bluetooth. So obviously that must be the dream color in the DIY mode ones. So if I drop that down, connect via Wi-Fi, give it a moment to connect. Okay, and we'll turn on the Bluetooth as well. Okay, it's connecting. And there you go, the modes appear then. So you don't get the modes unless you connect it via Bluetooth. So that's interesting to know. Okay, and if I go to DIY, which is the one I did, click apply, and there you go. So you can control it remotely, but if you want some of the extra functionality where you can see DIY and mode, you're gonna to have to be connected via Bluetooth. So let's disconnect from Bluetooth for a moment, and there you go, it disappears. So good to know that it does rely on Bluetooth, so you can't do everything remotely. Okay, so I've installed the actual strip kit onto my TV unit here, and just to show, what I've opted for is starting at the corner just there and working underneath initially. So what I wanted to achieve was 
there's actually six sections within the unit and I wanted to show all the sections lit up. So I've got one strip going all the way along underneath. It comes down and then it's just worked just underneath it. And then what's ever left, I've just gone along the top. So I found that's probably the best way to do it, just to achieve what I want to. Sticks well as well, no issues there. And again, looks quite tidy. And I didn't opt for using the clips at the side, no real need for them, and it fitted quite well. Obviously the corners haven't stuck on, obviously bending it can be a little bit tricky, but it's worked quite well how it has at the moment. Okay, so I've got the blinds closed, and this should give you an idea of what it looks like with the room completely dark. So it's worked quite well, and as you can see from a single strip, I'm getting different colours in each area. So it worked out really well and I've got a bit of a light at the back as well. So really, really good and I'm really impressed with it. Okay, so next, let me show Music Sync on this. So this is the standard DIY colour I've created on this. And on the app, if I hit the Music Sync button and let's go quiet for a moment. It's just the ambient noise. And every time I talk, obviously any noise the microphone built into the controllers picking this up. So let's try it out with some music. <laughs> Music Sync is really good on this, works quite well in conjunction and it does sync along to the music, so really impressed. Okay, so here we have the LED strip lights set up now. So I've got two kits, so if you look here, there's one behind the TV and a separate one behind the actual unit here. So there wasn't enough to cover the whole area. So the actual unit itself, end to end, it's 160 centimeters. And I wanted the LED lights showing all the gaps in there. So as you can see, each slot looks like it's a different color, even though it's the same LED strip kit. Now, the top one obviously is a separate one. So I can change the color of that independently, just to show, which is quite cool. And if I go over to my custom one, with the multiple colors so you can sort of flick between those so if I now go to my phone and go to the unit which is a TV unit below I can pick a single color like so and then flip between them like that or go to the custom one I created so let's go back to that one and do an apply and there you go Absolutely amazing. Really impressed by the fact that you can have multiple colors on a single strip. So there you go. Hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this particular LED strip kit. Details are in the description below. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.